let this man be in you. Tell someone and say, my friend, let this mind of Christ be in you. The mind of Christ was the humble mind. So the Bible said, let the mind of Christ be in you. Though he was God, but he never considered himself as God, but he humbled himself. And the Bible says, like a human being, like a bond servant, he never even wanted to think about the glory that he knew he left in heaven. So because of humility, he humbled himself. The Bible said he humbled himself to the death, even to the death of the cross. If you are humble, you must also be obedient. We cannot say you are humble while you are disobedient. So Jesus humbled himself and become obedient to his father to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Jesus was not just exalted and lifted by God for nothing. There's something he did. He humbled himself even to the death of the cross. Now the Bible said God saw that obedience, saw that action, saw that activity, saw that character in Jesus. This is the reason why God exalted him. The Bible said he exalted him and gave him a special name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the name of Jesus, if you read scriptures very well, you'll find that is the name of God. So God gave, he took his name and gave it to his son Jesus after he saw the humility of his son. Jesus did not also know that he will be given the name that is powerful above every other name. He was just being obedient, obeying scriptures, obeying his father, obeying what God is telling him. So when he was carrying on doing that, God was looking at that activity and God was pleased in his heart. Ask someone and say, are you pleasing God in your heart or not? Because sometimes whatever we do, more especially in the church, you find that we do everything to please people and God is not even seeing our actions. So here Jesus, whatever he was doing, he was making sure that he pleases his father. And when the father was happy with him, he gave him a special name. And after giving him the special name, he exalted that name. That every other name that can be mentioned must still be lower than the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So if you want to be known and you want to be recognized, especially by God, humble yourself. Tell someone and say, my friend, you are too high. Go down so that God can work. You know, there are people who raise themselves. That's why there's too much failure, too much competition, disappointment. Why? Because we raise ourselves. And there's a point whereby God must come in to humble you. And it's a painful thing to be humbled by God. It's better if we humble ourselves and himself, he will exalt us. I don't know if it makes sense. So when you read the book of Proverbs 6, 16, it says there are six sins that God hates. And the seventh one is when God does not even tolerate. The first one is pride, proud look. So the book of First John is talking about what is on this earth is proud of life, lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. So if there's pride, you are disturbing God to work. In fact, you are disturbing also Holy Spirit. You are also disturbing yourself. You are delaying yourself. But if there's humility, Holy Spirit can flow. Tell someone and say, my friend, you are too high. Go down. If you want grace, the Bible said God gives grace to the humble. It's something that you must not ask for or pray for. You can attract grace if you are humble. Hallelujah. So when you are humble, you are attracting the grace of God. And what is grace? According to Titus 2.11, the Bible says, Grace is the unmerited favor that helps us to say no to ungodliness and say yes to godliness. And that grace, the Bible said, it has been appeared to us. So if the grace has appeared, so it's up to you to get it. Because does not mean that if it has appeared, you can automatically get it. You have to take a step of getting that grace. God gives grace to the humble. When you go down, 
you attract the grace of God. Meaning nothing shall be impossible with, with whatever you do in Jesus' name. So the moment you attract the grace because of humility, nothing will be impossible in your life. Whatever door that is closed will open automatically because you have the grace. Tell somebody and say, my friend, humble yourself. Go down. You are too high. And you are disturbing God.